somebody sent me a message about installing a vertical grip on his saw. He said he just got it and he wanted to learn how to install it. Uh, to do that, you're going to have to remove the forearm here. And uh, I'll show you how to remove that. And uh, actually, I used to have a nice little Picatinny rail right here. So instead, I'm just going to put it in the bottom. I'll show you how to install that also. Very simple. All right, first, got to break down the weapon. Uh, go ahead and remove the magazine. Check the chamber, make sure it's empty. Remove the upper plate. Remove the spring. Go ahead and remove the bolt. Uh, that's about, most people know what to do, how to dissemble to that far. Remove the gas chamber here. You want to go ahead and lift up on this latch here. Rotate it to about, like it's right about there. Then you're able to simply lift up. And this is about as far as you want to go to break it down. Alright, to remove the forearm is very easy. There's a screw in the bottom here. You want to unscrew that screw and go ahead and unscrew your pivot screw here for your for your swivel sling. Make sure you remove those two things. It basically frees up the handguard and all you got to do then is just pull it out and slide it out the barrel end. And then same way to put it back in. And this is what you'll be left with to attach your rail. Alright, if you got the cash, I advise you just go ahead and buy a whole new forearm. Or something like this. Or something like this. Alright, if you don't want to do that, uh, here's how you install the rail on the bottom of the stock forearm or handguard or whatever you want to call it. Basically what you want to do is you want to flip it over. You want to get the positioning where you're going to put it. And one thing to remember is the positioning on the handguard relative to the magazine release. Now what I mean by that is basically... Okay. Yeah, see here's my Romanian AK. I got the vertical grip and the magazine. When I get the AK mag out, you have to rotate them. Now for instance, notice when I rotate the mag how close it comes to the vertical grip. Now if you mount that vertical grip too far forward, you're going to bump into that and not be able to get the mag out. Like for instance, here's a 40 rounder for the AK for the Romanian. Look how tight it is. It's really tight to get that magazine there and take it out because of my vertical grip is in the way. So just pay attention to that when you put the vertical grip on. You might want to put it forward a little further than you want to because of the magazine coming out. And once you get where you want it, simply find it and then go ahead and mark the holes where you want to drill. Alright, once you got the holes marked, what you want to do is dimple that hole mark. This will help stop it stop the drill bit from walking. It's not too bad on plastic, but I like to do it just in case. What I'm going to do is, is I'm putting a dimple on there. So when I do use the drill bit, my drill bit will walk all over the place and mess up the hole. And then you simply drill the holes. Alright, once you drill the holes to fit the, you know, applied hardware that you're using to hold down the rail itself, what you're going to do is, what you'll see if you fit the bolt head through here, I got it sticking out. And this is going to cause you problems when you go to put your barrel back in. Of course, this ain't you know, the actual size of it. This is much bigger. But uh, the smaller you keep that head sticking up to that side, the smaller or the, or the better it will be for that barrel to come out. Now, even if you do get it as small as you can, there's a small ribbon here. Now, this rib might cause you problems even if you do get it real small. So what you want to do is take your Dremel, you know, this is a good thing to have for all wood, you know, woodworking and metalworking for that matter, and go ahead and take out some of that plastic rail, and there's this ribbon there, I'll show a picture of it, and uh, take out some of that, and then that way when you put the bolt head through there, it won't stick up above on top of this rib. Once I uh, Dremel it all out, I'll show you what I mean when it's all done and what it looks like. Alright, once you got the surrounding area ground down like so, then essentially all you got to do is to install it. Alright, now just to install it, you just got to, you know, make sure you guys know how to do this, just simple bolt something down. Now you're probably going to have to cut and shorten one of your bolts so they ain't sticking up too much through 
the handguard and touching the barrel. So basically what you want to do is you want to dry fit it, get it to where you think it is, and then look inside and see where your, your, your nuts are sticking up. Now say this, uh, I'm not your nuts, but your bolts are sticking up. See how high this one is right here? You probably can't even see it, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that with a marker and then pull it out and then I'll grind it off. And that will put the, put the bolt shorter so it ain't sticking through. Now a tip is whenever you're cutting bolts, if you guys don't know this, is first thread the nut on. And once you get the nut threaded all the way as far as it can go, cut it. And that way when you back the thread, but when back when you back the nut back out, it will help re-thread where you had to do the cut, you know, that way when you're trying to, so otherwise you cut it and you have to put the nut, nut back on and you can't find the threads. And, so just put the nut on first, cut it, and then back the nut out and that will help form the threads. So when you do put the nut on once more when it's on, it will be much easier. Alright, once you got the bolts to size, you simply run your bolts through and go ahead and nut them on the other side. Uh, you know, you might have to take the Dremel after you thread them through and still take off a little bit of that, that bolt head sticking through with that nut. But once you get it looking relatively good, you know, and remember, take your time with it, you know. The more you take your time with it, you know, the cleaner your job will look. It won't look quite as this bad. I just kind of ran this through kind of fast to show you what it looks like. Quite frankly, I don't mind messing up this uh, forearm. You know, I plan on getting a, a better one eventually anyways. But uh, once you get it like so, Go ahead and uh, take some Loctite and go ahead and make sure you put them on your nuts real good. You know, you're going to have vibration and pulling on it and it's going to want to jiggle loose, so use some Loctite. If you feel like uh, that nut might pull through, go ahead and throw a small washer on it, you know. It's always good to, you know, use a small washer if you feel it's necessary so you don't pull that nut through. You shouldn't though, it's a pretty hard polymer. And uh, there you go. We'll put it back on the gun and see how it looks. And well, there you go. As you can see, it's good on there. It's nice and straight. It's pretty damn level. Uh, I think it turned out fairly good for just a quick rig job I did. You know, the more taking time with it, the better it turn out. Uh, a couple of improvements I should could have made is now put it so close to my, my swivel here for my sling. Uh, it's not bad, but it's a little, little forward. Just remember, though, you can't put it too close. Otherwise, your mag will get in the way when you're taking the mag out. Uh, you said you had the 7.62 version. And that will bend out a lot more because it's more banana mag. This is the 223, so it's a little straighter. But uh, pretty easy to do, real simple. It's not really a rig job, but it's not really, you know, professional done either. But uh, very simple to do, and, you know, you can't afford the cash to get all the cool stuff, you know, with the whole forearm. You know, very simple to do. This uh, rail itself is from a wild high point. <laughs> it actually came with it. So it's kind of a cheap rail, but it'll work for all rails. And they're you know, it's still a weaver type mount rail, you know, Picatinny rail. So, very simple to do, man, and I advise you try it.